Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and today I have a requested Becca bit. It's regarding the guillotine cutter and the triangle ruler that I use. You all were interested in seeing how I use those two together, so let's get started. Now, this is the tonic cutter that I use. It's um, a cutter that I just love. Um, once I moved to the guillotine cutter, I learned that that's the format for me. I really do like them. Um, the one thing that I did come to understand that although the cutter is very accurate, I am not always accurate. And it has something to do with maybe I tilt my paper, um, especially if I'm trying to make a cut that's all the way over here. They're just There's less of a flat surface for me to put my paper on or maybe I'm in a hurry I'm not quite sure what it is I do but I have found over time that the triangle ruler saves me so this is what the triangle ruler looks like the brand name on it is Stadler S-T-A-E-D-T-L-E-R and I think that I purchased it at Office Depot and it would be a purchase that's less than five dollars now I will tell you there are other triangle rulers on the market and I've had them um, the problem with them is that they have a bevel on one edge and so what happens when I put them down is my paper isn't butted up against the um, edge of the ruler gets caught underneath or the bevel lets it get underneath so just be sure that you've got clean edges and no bevel if you are going to get um, a triangle ruler so here's how it works we know that this is a straight edge and um, you know it's precise as far as this cutter goes so if I want to cut and I want to make sure that I am cutting the same distance at the top as I am on the bottom then I can actually move this ruler all the way across the top edge and I'm assured of getting a straight cut so when I, I I mean I use this for every cut really when I'm making a cut um, and this probably has something to do with my eyesight too it's just easier for me to narrow in on what cut I'm going to make by lining it up say at five and a quarter here butting it up and then of course you hold down the guides and you cut and it's accurate every time now also something that I've learned works very well for me is when I am making several of the same size on different sheets of paper and I want to keep the cut consistent I'll tape this down I'll just tape it at the edge or I'll tape it up here and it's never it's not gonna move and it essentially becomes a guide and and so that works out real well for me too so let me show you the smaller cutter this is the smaller cutter as I said I don't always use the ruler on the smaller cutter but I but you can so this is what it would be like and you simply just move across this top edge line it up hold your guide down and then cut accurate every time so that's really how I use the triangle ruler for accuracy, um, you know, in conjunction with the guillotine cutter. I thank you so much for stopping by for this quick Becca bit, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.